Okay, so you, you were having a... You were floating on a realization that for as, as long as you can remember, there, there's there been a sense of s social anxiety. And... Um, it, it grew it grew primarily in high school. So... And then... Uh, um, I think it was really in full bloom um, probably in college but by the end of high school you were doing pretty darn pretty darn good it's interesting because you were you were social um, junior and senior year were were very very nice fun, fun times and then um, but it, it, which is remarkable because it, it, it does imply that this sense of um, painful insecurity was still forming and didn't take full effect. But then when, then I remember the first time you went to um, Norman and uh, what that was like that first day when you met uh, for therapy and you met for a session and, and he came out and what that was like, but but you know, it's kind. It, I want I want to say it's remarkable what happened junior and senior year, considering how you considering how you did feel. Um, now, what you were realizing is the sensation of I'm going to go into a group of people and I'm I'm going to be vulnerable, and I'm going to be naked to them. And I'm I'm so ashamed of myself. They're just gonna rip me apart. So there's that. That's the bottom line. They're gonna rip me apart. They're going to rip me apart. They're going to make fun of me. And I think, as you remember, um, you've definitely had more than a few mom a few times where where you've made sure that that happens. You've been. prone to letting yourself feel bad or, or make or getting excited in a way where it invites ridicule and it's almost like a challenge it's almost like it comes out of anger and you're like, oh yeah? Well, fuck that shit. They can't handle it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna really behave like a shithead and I'm going, I'm going to do all this craziness and they're gonna just not know what to do. They're going to challenge me and then I'm gonna feel gratified in my hate. Um, I'm going to feel gratified in my anger. You, yeah, almost like you wanted, because that's what you were living with. So you wanted to have some fuel to justify it in a way, in 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 some crazy, insane, absolutely insane, horrible way. <clears throat> you wanted it to thrive, and you wanted to make fun of yourself and and get to a point where. You were causing discomfort in others, and uh, the, ridicule, the ridicule began, the shame began, and it was hard to get out of, and then later on you were just angry and, and frustrated. And on the flip side of all of this, you remember as a child being excited to hang out with friends. So it's really, it's really interesting, actually it's pretty fascinating. Like when you you knew somebody was gonna spend the night, or you knew you were gonna go spend the night at somebody's house, or you knew um, you're going to somebody's birthday. You know, as a child, you, as a kid, you um, there was there was this excitement. There was no even though you remember um, the soccer practice incident at an early age, and and at a very early age, the the baby talk. <clears throat> moments. Whew. It's weird how we're, we're, we're... 
you can be held accountable in adulthood for the ways you behaved as a child. Um, So you were remembering how, how good it felt to, to do these things, to hang out with friends, and there wasn't this full realization of shame and guilt and anger and, and resentment and embarrassment and I'm going to be torn apart. There was more of an anticipation. I'm going to, I'm looking forward to doing these things. And you, and it started in childhood. I mean, you can remember times in childhood where you were really disgruntled and aggravated. And I think that that's when it really began. Um, because you remember times where you were so upset that everything seemed like a burden. And it made you, I think it turned you off to a lot of things. Um... I remember throwing. I remember you throwing the biggest temper tantrum when you were going to horseback riding lessons, and you didn't want to go, and it was like this total outburst. <clears throat> and I remember other outbursts, the paper route on a Sunday morning, and and these things um, definitely relate to you now, almost 35 years old, and and it's. Um, Because you just, you didn't feel like you had that understanding. You didn't feel like you had that compassion where, where, you know, like any child should be given this reassurance that they're, that everything's okay, that they're okay, that, you know, it's, it's all going to be cool, you know, we're going to have fun. And it's, it's unfortunate that you were sensitive in a, in such a way where you, really could have used that and that wasn't that wasn't there and it is unfortunate but it's not um but you know the past is the past you you, you you're well aware of that um what i would like you to strive towards is is getting better at, at that excited feeling you know instead of um like you yeah like at the um SJ Film Festival. <clears throat> that excited feeling. You know. Um, the feeling where you're going to have a good time. You're going to meet new people. You're going to, you know, it's exciting. It's, it's awesome. It's new and different. And we're going to have fun and we're going to laugh together and, and it's all carefree. And there isn't this sense of you being naked and ready to be destroyed. Oh, they're going to destroy me. They're going to rip me. To, they're going to rip me apart. Oh, I'm just going to. I might as well blow my brains out. Oh, I'm so angry about that. Because then they would. And oh, I'm just going to make a fool out of myself. And I'm going to. I'll show them. I'll just fucking put a gun in my mouth and blow my brains out right in front of them. And I'm going to. You know. You know, the alien thing inside of you. No. Seriously, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's one of those things where you have to allow yourself to have the realization of good intentions for yourself and for other people. Um, and I think that's well said. <clears throat>